Welcome back to MathX. Square root of x plus square root of negative x is equal to 4. Let's solve for x. As you see, the question looks very strange because we know that the radicands under the radicals are supposed to be equal or greater than 0, which results in Now, if x is greater or equal to 0, and also a smaller n, n equal to 0, so this results in x only being equal to 0. And if you plug in the value of this into the left-hand expression, you see that it's going to be 0, which is not equal to 4. So that's definitely wrong. So we can conclude there are no solutions. Yeah, but there is a, this sentence is a little wrong. There are actually no real solutions. There could be complex solutions. So let's go and solve this equation. So to solve it, we need to use this formula, okay? So it would be a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, okay? So to use this formula, the original equation we square it and 4 also squared so we're going to get this using the formula we're going to get this plus 2ab becomes this is equal to 16. this would be x plus negative x plus 2 times a square root of x times the square root of negative x will be this again is equal to 16. As you see, x and negative x will be canceled. So this is what we get. Let's simplify both sides of the equation by 2. This is what we're going to get. Okay, so we're going to square both sides again by 2 to get rid of this radical. So negative x squared is equal to 64. Okay. So x squared is equal to negative 64. Again, let's find the square root of both sides. Okay. Square root of 64 times square root of negative 1. So by definition, the square root of negative 1 is the imaginary unit, okay? So we're going to, instead of a square root of negative 1, we're just going to place i, and it would create the two solutions we needed to find. Okay, now, is this really 8i, the solution to this? If it's hard for you to believe, well, we're going to check that to see if it's really uh, the solution to the equation. Okay, now let's check to see if 8i is the solution to the original equation. Please note that if I, instead of 8i, I put negative 8i, again, I will get the same expression. Okay, let's go. So first, let's call this t and then find the value of t squared, okay? It was a squared, which is going to be ai, b squared, uh, we saw it previously, it's going to be negative 8i, and plus 2ab, it's going to be plus 2 times ab, square root of 8i, multiplied by square root of negative 8i. So again, the same steps. 8i and negative 8i will be cancelled. So t squared will be 2 times negative 64i. Okay, all of this under radical. So let's just check the definition. We, we just know that square root of negative 1 is i. So i squared is negative 1. So let's just go and replace that value. What we're going to get is 2 t squared will be 2 times 64. Okay, so the value of t would be, as you know, 
4, which is going to be exactly this value over here. So that means 8i or negative 8i is actually a solution to the equation. And I hope you found the video useful.